192 gigabytes of RAM for my 7950X system. And the reason that I did this was, I know um, you guys would probably think that we don't need that much RAM, but um, the only reason I got this was for larger um, models that are now coming out as open source. So in the in the last week, we got Quen 3 235B, which honestly still fits in 96 gigs, but we got Quen 3 Coder that came out, and which is 480, 480 billion parameters, and that fits into the 196 uh, like Q2. Uh, so I tested that. And also um, GLLM just came out like this week. So that's also an open, open source model. And that's also going to fit in 198 gigabytes of RAM. So what I'm looking at now is a lot of these open source models are probably going to be using a lot of the CPU power to run on your CPU offload KV cache to GPU, and it's still kind of doable. Um, just remember that using Linux is probably going to be better than what I have currently. I'm using a Llama CPP on Windows, and I honestly, I can see that the utilization of my computer is definitely not fully utilized. I'm only running around 300 watts um, on the CPU and two GPUs, so it's, it's, it's already like a 250 watt CPU, if not more, and the GPUs should be pulling both at 400 each. So 1,000 watts is what I would be expecting it. It's only running at like 350. So if I can get VLLM installed, obviously, or you can get it installed, it probably is going to be much better than this. But I just want to compare um, larger models at higher quantizations and uh, try to install four sticks of RAM into you know an AM5 system. Apparently is an issue, and I just wanted to uh, contribute to the community and showing how I achieved just putting it in. Okay, so first off, the system that I have, everything is going to be in the description below. The system I have is an um, AM5 system, 7950X. I got the Dominator, uh, Corsair Dominator, uh, Titanium RAM, 6,600 megahertz. Uh, I don't remember the, the, sorry, I don't remember the clock. I do have it here though. So these are the presets, 6,600, uh, 32, 39, 39, and uh, 6,800 at 40, 50, 50. So you're never gonna get that on, um, and uh, what I've been using currently is really just my agent with GLLM um, helping me uh, get the timings correctly. So if you're having trouble, so this is what I've been using. If you're having trouble uh, getting the timings correct or you don't know how to do uh, timings for RAM or overclocking, I would suggest ask one of the AI honestly for help. You're going to go ahead and scour the internet for your system and they'll help you overclock it. So this is just like a methodical approach. It's basically told me to um, get as loose timings as possible and then um, I got as high of a bandwidth as I could to 5000 5200 was not working. Made sure the temperature was good, ran ADA 15, uh, for 15 minutes and then I started lowering the clock uh, speeds. So, so far I got it to uh, 30, 34, 34, 84. I could have got it to 28, so that's my next step. But it's saying you have like maybe 15% chance to get it there. So I haven't done it yet. I'm going to show you the uh, secondary settings that I currently have. So these are you know, my primary, this is my secondary, and these are my voltages. So the voltages here are lower. I did start with 1.4 volts. Sorry, not, yeah, so on here, this is lower than what I have currently. I started 1.4 volts, um, and I kept them. I haven't lowered them yet. Um, but yeah, the temperature is pretty good. 
I'm getting about 50 degrees on the RAM. Uh, I do have a fan on them. So that's the other thing. So that is my contribution, hopefully, to you guys uh, with getting four sticks of RAM.